So how would the financial statements differ if the company was following ASPE, Accounting Standards for Private Enterprises? Well, the income statement, which we know is also called the statement of earnings or the profit and loss statement, there would be no change. The statement of changes in equity is not used. Instead, an organization which follows ASPE, Accounting Standards for Private Enterprises, does something totally different. They do the statement of retained earnings. Let's see how that looks. Of course, we start with the company name, then the name of the statement, and in this case, it's called the Statement of Retained Earnings. And then the date. Similar to the Statement of Changes in Equity, this always is named Year Ended, September 30th, 2020. The Statement of Retained Earnings is not in column format like the Statement of Changes in Equity. Instead, we focus on retained earnings, so we start with retained earnings at the beginning of the year. If you remember from the listing of accounts, that's 194503 We then move on to net income, 99400 and deduct dividends, 8142 We end up with retained earnings ending. 285,761. So notice that the statement of retained earnings focuses only on the retained earnings column from the statement of changes in equity. Why? Because companies that follow ASPE, Accounting Standards for Private Enterprises, are generally closely held. That means that there's not a lot of shareholders, and often the shareholders are closely related to the business or involved in the business in some way, shape, or form. They therefore have access to a lot of additional information. Also, it's unlikely that the contributed capital in a private corporation will change. If it does change, it's likely that all the shareholders in the private corporation know about it. Therefore, information on contributed capital, also called common shares, is not required. Let's just see that the statement of retained earnings is very similar to the statement of changes in equity. Notice the similarities. It's the same name. It's the same date, and it is only the retained earnings column. So the statement of changes in equity includes information about contributed capital, in this case common shares, and includes a total. But the statement of retained earnings only includes the retained earnings column. Otherwise, there's no difference between the statement of changes in equity and the statement of retained earnings. Are there any other differences? Yes. The statement of financial position is called the balance sheet. There's no change to the format of the statement of financial position. The only thing that happens is instead of calling it the statement of financial position, we call it the balance sheet. So if we were completing the financial statements for a company that was using ASPE, we would do the same income statement, we would do the statement of retained earnings, and we would do the statement of financial position, but we would call it the balance sheet. Otherwise, there are no additional changes between IFRS and ASPE financial statements. How can the statements be used by different users to answer questions about the company? Well, that's the topic of the next video.